everybody, welcome back. Welcome back. <coughs> welcome back. Welcome back to the Clem ASMR YouTube channel. Now, if you guys didn't already know, I was planning on doing a 20k subscriber special in which you send in your submissions um, to my email address. If you want to submit a clip, feel free. However, so far we've only had one submission, so it's probably not likely to happen. That being said, we're on the way to 25k, so please, please, please subscribe to the channel if you can. It would do every benefit for me. So, without further ado, I don't, worry, don't really want to get too much into it, to be fair. Um, Chelsea had a up and down season, we all know. We all know it wasn't the best of seasons, but really it wasn't the worst of seasons for us. We're hopefully going to get into the Conference League. I do think we have to go through the qualifiers for that. I'm not entirely sure. Are we in the Conference League? Yeah, qualification for next season confirmed. Yeah. So we there's no qualifiers for that. Anyway, let's not get bogged down in that. Let's just go through each player individually and rank them where I think they should be ranked. This is... The 23 to 24 tier list maker for all the Chelsea players. I don't know if it includes everyone, and there are two players in this that I do not recognise. So you're going to have to help me out here. One there, and one there. Anyway, have a quick look at this. Here we go. So, we're going to go through them. If I get these wrong, I'm going to shoot myself in the foot. I'm going to shoot myself anyway. We have Levi Colwell, Malo Gusto, Ben Chilwell, De Sassi. This is Saar, Malang Saar, who is still on the books. Trevor Chalabert, Thiago Silva, Rhys James, Kukurea. Wesley Fafana, Buddy Ashile. That's Ian Matson. I might rate him based on how I think he had of a season rather than at Chelsea. So, here's what it is. We're actually going to rename these two. God tier. Great season. Squad player. Meh. Terrible. In fact, I think we just call it meh and get out. And I don't think we need that tier. That seems reasonable, doesn't it? And let's make that really green. In fact, really red. Let's make that orange, that yellow, that green. And then that one like a... You're incredible. There we go. That seems a bit better, doesn't it? Let me quickly go ahead and rearrange this as well. Sorry, guys. I feel like this is a little bit disorganised for you. Um, we have... I want to say that's Chukwamaker. Am I right in saying that? It is Chuckle Maker. Cole Palmer, Caicedo, Enzo Fernandez. That's Lavia, isn't it? Let me just double check. Yeah, it looks like him. Um, who's that? That is going to be. It was one of the new signings that very, very rarely played, I think. Is that Ogachukwu? It is Ogachukwu, isn't it? Yes, it's Ogachukwu. Who made a total of 12 appearances. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Conor Gallagher, Broya. Madueke, Nicholas Jackson. Now, I don't know who this is. Oh, it's going to be... 
Angelo, isn't it? Angelo Gabriel. That's the one. He's got a slit in his eyebrow. Might not be, actually. I think it's Angelo. Uh, Sterling and Kunku Modric. I don't know who this is. Um, R Robert Sanchez and Petrovic. That's actually going to be the goalkeeper, isn't it? Oh, no, sorry. That's David Washington. That's David Washington. Makes sense. Makes sense, actually, thinking about it. Um, Petrovic. Who have we got? I just want the squad. This is the issue with Chelsea's squad at the minute. I, I'm not... Slone no, it's not Slonino, is it? Ah, Marcus Bettinelli, that's the one. Bettinelli, Bettinelli, that's the one. So, we're going to go through them in the order. Sorry, guys. It's awful if you have to familiarise yourself with the squad before you start this. That just shows you how many ins and outs Chelsea have had recently. It's a bit hard to keep track of. Especially the ones that haven't really played much. Anyway, Levi Colwell. Where do we go with him? I think he's had a brilliant season. I actually think he's done very, very well, considering the fact that Left back, left centre back, not knowing what formation and which sort of best eleven we had for the majority. I actually think he had a great season. I was surprised he didn't get called up to the England squad personally, but I can understand where he and Cons are getting picked before him. So, yeah, I'd, I'd have personally taken him, but that's probably my bias. Malo Gusto. I think he's brilliant. I know a lot of people that aren't Chelsea fans are not not sold by this guy. I think he's brilliant and I think in the absence of Reese James and how Reese James has been recently, I actually think he's come on a little bit better than Reese James. I do think Reese James is one of the best right backs in the league. I rate Malo Gusto that highly personally. I think he could be brilliant and I'm really, really concerned as to how his development continues if Reese James is back and fit. If Reece James is not fit, I'm happy to sell him on and keep him on Augusto. I think that's a more than suitable replacement. Moving on, we have Chilwell. I'm going to put him in there. I don't think he's had the best of seasons. I don't think his confidence is that high. And I don't think he's really fighting for a place in the squad at the minute. I'd personally, under current form at the very least, in the form towards the end of the season, play Kukurea. And if we are playing that inverted wing-back role, it he doesn't suit that at all. So, I think he's very one-dimensional. And I think that his uh, defending hasn't been brilliant at times. So, I'm going to put him in meh. Disassi. Disassi. I think he's going to be the first player in squad player. I think that there was many a game where he looked completely shaky. I think he didn't always know what to do. And I don't think he was the best. And I don't think he had a great season by any stretch of the imagination. However... There were times where you could see the quality that's within the player. Do you know what I mean? You, like, you could see how he was trying to play. What type of player that we've invested in. And I think under the right system could be fantastic. So, squad player for now. In the middle. Malangsar. 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 How much did we sign him for? We signed him for when it comes back. Where's it gone? Eight million pounds. No, we didn't. We signed him for sixteen million pounds. Loaned him out for two million. We got him on a free transfer, loaned him out for two million. Then we loaned him out again for a million. And now he's worth six million. He was worth 16 million. He's not very good. Either way, he hasn't played any minutes. He's made eight appearances for Chelsea, I think. It isn't great. It is enough said. Trevor Chalabar. I think he's a squad player. I can see him leaving, to be fair. I think he's one of the first names to be like going out the door. 
which I'm not happy about because I actually I quite like him and I think he does offer something. But between him, Disassi, um, Badia Shile, let's go through the list here. I think they all offer the same thing. And now we've got um, Tosin and Rabio. Uh, we've got a centre back. We've got too many centre backs. I just think he's the first one out the door. But I do like him. That's pretty much all I've got to say. I don't think it'd be the biggest loss. Thiago Silva. It's a, in terms of the season he's had, he's probably like top end of here. But it was his last season, and he went out with an absolute bang. And I, I think all biases aside. I would have put John Terry as one of the best defenders in the world. I think Thiago Silva is the best defender in the world that's ever been. That's a big statement, isn't it? That's a big statement. He's at least up there. Okay, your likes of your PKs, your Puyols, Sergio Ramos, Nesta Maldini. I think there's so many to count that it's hard to distinguish between them all. Terry Vidic. I think... His longevity and how good he was, even in his final moments, and his... Do you know what I think it is about him? I can't remember there ever being a controversy about him. AC Milan, bossed it. PSG, bossed it. Chelsea, bossed it. And not only did he boss it, but he was a leader. He took players around him and made them better. Thank you, Thiago Silva. You're going in that tier. Um, Rhys James, I'm putting in squad player because he could be a good god player, but he was injured. He was injured half the season. Next season, I'm excited to see what he can do. I really, really am. I can't wait to see where we go this season. I think it's going to be make or break for a lot of Chelsea players. But it is what it is. Kukurea, I'm going to put in squad player again. I think first half of the season, not great. I think first half of the season was here. Second half of the season was here. And what he's doing with Spain at the minute is fantastic. But we're probably going to be going on uh, just just club level. So I think first half here, once we found a system that actually utilised him a hell of a lot better than we really should have done, it showed how incredible he actually could be. So, great. And defensively, he's been fantastic. Wesley Fofana, obviously, I'm going to put in the meh category. He didn't play all season. I don't want him to go. I think he's fantastic. So, I'm, again, quite excited to see what we get from Fafana. We bought him three years ago. <laughs> we haven't seen anything because he kept getting... He's, he's done the same injury twice. I think he's, like, broke his leg twice. Like, Achilles and his hamstring, or whatever it might have been. ACL injury for a centre-back is mental as well, by the way. But it is what it is. Badi Ashile. I'm going to go meh. I don't think I ever saw... How wide his neck is. Like, I don't think we ever saw the, the top end of him. And if we did, then definitely he's in there. But it's just one of them where we'll wait and see. I don't think anyone really had the best of seasons, but he doesn't deserve to be in a squad player category. He's top end of meh. He was better than Chilwell and Fafana because well, he didn't play and whatever. Ian Matson. I'm going to put in Get Out just because he's gone. He, he has gone. He's gone to Aston Villa. He didn't really make an impact at Chelsea. But he was fantastic for Dortmund. Which is why you could easily say great great season. But it wasn't a great Chelsea season. It was a good Dortmund season. So for that, j j pure disqualified. That's all it is. Carnage Chuckle Maker. Again, squad player. Featured a little bit. Got injured. Featured a little bit. Got injured. Had good spells when he came on. I can't really complain at him. It is what it is. We're going to see the best of him again. Hopefully, if the, all these can stay fit, we, we might start seeing the best out of all of these. Coley, Coley Palmer. Mr. Cold Palmer himself. Do I need to say anything? I might just, I might just leave it at that. Can I say that? No, he had a fantastic season. I mean, I don't get how such a young footballer can be that unfazed by anything in a game. I don't think 
nerves exist for this kid? Like, I think if you put him on a stage in front of a hundred thousand people and told him, you've got no practice, but you need to recite the alphabet backwards, he'd just be like, yeah, cool, whatever. He'd get up on stage and he'd be like, I don't think it phase him. There's no nerves, there's nothing there. It's just, I've got a job and I do it. Simple as that, mate. <laughs> anyway, moving on, moving on. I mean, most goals and assists in all competitions across the whole of Europe. It says it all. I can't get into the England team. Mental. Caicedo, great season. I'm going to put him top of great season, actually. Um, he had one bad game against Liverpool at the start of the season. And from then on, was announced as a flop. Right? He cost a hell of a lot of money. I'm not debating that fact. He was labelled a flop after one game. I think, if I'm correct in saying, Kai Seda was the most consistent player all season across any teams. He played next to all the minutes. He never put a foot wrong. I don't see why he was hated so much. Right, if you look at his stats, he's 22 years old, which is mental. He played... Oh, where is it? I just want this season, please. I just want this fucking season, you muppets. Show. Made 35 appearances. Scored one goal, got three assists, 12 yellow cards. He missed the Luton game. A Bournemouth game and a Wolves game. This year says we only played Liverpool once. That's wrong. Anyway, I'm getting a bit bogged down in this. Um, yeah, I just think it's fantastic. I think it's absolutely fantastic. And. Um, he just fits the role. He had a great season. Simple as. Enzo Fernandez. I'm going to put top of squad player. I think he had a good start to the season. I think he was carrying a big injury. A herniated groin is not a simple injury. Especially as a footballer. Like. I don't. If, if you're not playing regularly. Like in actual football. Or have picked up a similar sort of injury. Slash just any groin injuries. I don't think you realise how much it hampers. Like, the groin is like a mental thing for footballers because you use it a lot. Not only are you running and causing impact damage, but it's 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 the key movement of a footballer when you're passing, shooting, running, tackling, whatever. It's in constant use. And a groin injury can really hamper someone. So... <laughs> I'm saying that because we see a lot of injuries with the knees and ankles at the minute. Like knee injuries, ankle injury, hamstring injuries, them sort of things. Uh, groin injuries are sort of overlooked a little bit. And he was carrying that for half the season. So no wonder he looked off it. There is a world beater in him, by the way. Who do we say this was? Ogachukwu, was it? Either way, meh. I'm putting both of these in meh. Just because they didn't really... Oh no, it's Lavia, isn't it? That's Lavia. Again, I'm putting him in meh. Injured. I don't want him to get out. I think there's a player in there. In fact, half the squad have even said in interviews recently that they can't wait for him to actually get out and show his ability for a Chelsea team. Because they're, they're surprised at his quality in training. So, I can't wait to see that. But meh, because he was injured. Um, 
meh because we barely saw him. Simple as that. Conor Gallagher. Another standout, consistent performer for me. I'm going to be sad when he goes because he probably is going. There's probably no doubt in... I don't think there's any doubt. I think he's gone. It will be sad. I hope we get enough money for him. I think any less than 50 and you're, you're fuming. We've signed Dewsbury Hall anyway. I don't I don't get why we're selling him. I think he had a great season. I think he's Chelsea through and through and I'll be sad to see him go personally. I've grown to very much like Gallagher. Um, bro, yeah, get out. I don't think he had a great season at all. I don't rate him that highly. Armando Broya. He is one of those where he wasn't great when he's played. He then went to Fulham on loan at a dodgy Fulham. I don't think he made many appearances. I think if we can sell him for 20 mil, I'll be very happy. I don't particularly rate him that highly. Uh, Madawaiki. I'm going to put him again, sort of top end of squad player. I think he had a good season when he played, but he only played half the season. And I think there is a great player in him as well. I think he's fantastic. And I can't wait to see more. If he does leave, I think there's rumours of him going to like AC Milan or PSV. I think that could be very, very good for him specifically. But I think it could be great. Nicholas Jackson. I'm going to get shot for this. I think he had a great season. I don't think a lot of things warranted the hate that he got. He missed a lot of key chances. Yes. He knows that. His movement off the ball, his movement with the ball, is great. His finishing hasn't been brilliant, but... If we take a look at his actual stats... We signed him for, what, £35 million? £30 million. He wasn't supposed to be our starting striker. He was meant to be a backup. He's come in, 12 goals, 5 assists. No, sorry, 14 goals, 5 assists in 35 games. It's not that bad. 14 goals in your first season in the Premier League. That's okay. In my book, like, we're expecting the Haaland's and the Mo Salah's and the Hazard's of scoring 20, 30 goals a season. Which, admittedly, as a Chelsea striker, you probably should be aiming towards. But you name another Chelsea striker that does that. We haven't had one. Second of all, that's not the system that we played. The reason that Jackson did so well is because Cole Palmer was getting in on the goals. Enzo scored some. Madawaki scored some. Um, whoever else in the team was scoring goals. That's the point of it. He was a link-up player. And to still get 14 goals in your debut season in the Premier League, it's not an easy feat. I think he was heavily, heavily criticised when he shouldn't have been. I'm not saying that his finishing couldn't improve, and if he had scored a lot of the goals, would have been higher up in the table. It's as simple as that. David Washington, meh, didn't play much. Didn't play at all, really. I think he played like eight minutes total, something daft like that. He played a total of 230, oh no. He made two appearances and played nine minutes in the Premier League. Thirteen minutes in the FA Cup. Great. Let's hope to see him uh, loaned out next season. Sterling, meh. I think he was shy. I think he needs to get gone. He's on way too much money. And I don't think he's great at all. If we can sell him to Saudi Arabia, I'd be very, very happy. Nkunku, I'm going to put top of squad player again, similar to these guys. I think when he did come in, he didn't play much at all, did he? He was hampered by a big injury that really like, set him back through the season. I think, again, if he can stay fit this season, I think he could be great. He, he, we already know his quality. He could have a great season. And I think just off the basis of this, we know which players we need to be playing in and around the team with the likes of the Reese James joining it, Kukurea joining it, if and when. Mudrick... Meh. I don't think he was that bad. He certainly wasn't great. He's very raw. He could benefit from a loan. 
if there's any player in this whole squad that I think loan him out, give him some permanent minutes under his belt, stop fucking about. The quality is there. We can see his pace. We can see his dribbling ability. We can see his knack of getting into spaces where he opens shooting opportunities. Give him a loan. Send him to the Portuguese league or the Eredivisie. That sort of mid-level. Send him to La Liga for all I care. And then get some minutes under his belt. Please, please get some minutes under his belt. Bettinelli didn't play. Robert Sanchez was okay when he did play. I don't think he was great. I don't think he was bad. And I thought Petrovic was quite good when he played. Probably put him bottom end of there. I think he was good. I think both goalkeepers, we've got solid goalkeepers. I don't think we need to go and get another goalkeeper. I know it's been rumoured, but I don't think we need to. So what do you reckon about that? Who do you think should be... Any? Is there anyone you disagree with? Is there anyone you think I should put in God's tier that aren't these two? I know, again, I could put Thiago Silva down into great season and just leave Cole Palmer as the best player of the season. I respect Thiago Silva too much to do that. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I will catch you later. Catch you later, catch you later, goodbye.